brought to you by Your Coat, an app that makes you write and perform. The frozen, dark red, tomato-like squishy nose spoke for itself. Yes, it was cold, seven degrees to be precise. And at about three thirty in the afternoon on the seventh of May, two thousand eight, you heard it correctly, and I experienced it. The divinity of the anticlimactic snowfall. We had started from Kulu, a small district in the valley that River BS has created between Lagri and Manali, full of few of the warmest people existent on this uh, in this country. It was sixth of May, and we had toured well through Kulu, and had started for the town of Manikaran. Manikaran is located in the Parvati Valley. north east of buntar in the in the district of kulu of himachal pradesh it is at an altitude of about 1760 meters and is located 4 kilometers ahead of kasol and about 35 kilometers from kulu legend has it that lord shiva and his consort his better half mother parvati were strolling through the valley when she lost one of her earrings which was made of a jewel she lost it which was then notoriously confiscated by shesha the goddess of snakes and serpents shesha was compelled to give the jewel up once shiva performed his infamous cosmic tandava jewels kept popping out of that hot of those hot water springs till the earthquake of 1905 This was followed by Ma Parvati's jewel that Shesha had to give up through the hot water springs. The fascinating and binding legend had us marching for the springs where we learned about the Sikh legend of Guru Nanak Dev Ji making chapatis bake and float in the hot springs to which he blessed the place with the energy of returning returning sunk items of those believers who donated in the name of God. the sheer magnificence of the history kept us there for the night and we started for rotang pass the very next morning after we were done meditating in the hot water springs and bathing from our heads dipping into these holy waters i'm sure by now you have made the connection between the frozen nose the wet hair and the ultimate snowfall we experienced an untimely snowfall as we mentioned earlier So this was Rotang Pass on the seventh of May, on the day of snowfall. Rotang Pass and the summit of this pass, the visibility of beautiful Spiti, and the snowflakes down every nook and corner of my warm suit, is priceless and worth of every breath taken in the Pir Panjal range. We had to force ourselves on heading back because the planned trip was about seventeen days long and nine destinations. divers at about 7 in the evening we found ourselves with tummy full full of masala maggi cooked in the breeze and the cold of these mountains and the beautiful aloo parathas alongside full of the love of that lady who fed us all the ones who had spent themselves in the beauty of the nature at that pass at the we found ourselves at the infamous mall road what trip without a shopping spree right and what himachal trip without a pashmina shopping spree so we headed out as i was loitering aimlessly fin- fishing for every ounce of peace in that air my gaze pinned at a man sitting in the corner of the staircase begging i approached him and he greeted me with a very gentle smile which failed to reach his eyes I was it was no rocket science to figure out that he had been hungry for a couple of days his stomach was growling like a conch of a temple early in the morning I bought him food he ate in a haste as if a vulture was circling his head for meat he touched my feet that was the day the first ever time that I encountered how lifeless and desperate hunger can make you I had never been hungry even on fasting days it was saddening to an extent where that tomboy like me with seven cuts and bruises shed icy tears 
at the sight of that marathon gulping without chewing so that it just reaches his veins so he can fall asleep without roaring without a roaring stomach i couldn't help but savor that moment of learning and pride i sketched a portrait for the first time and mostly the only successful time till date every time i put my amateur pencil on my sketchbook i feared on losing the magnificence of that particular moment i learned to appreciate my health my father's wealth and the ability of him to leave behind enough that we my mother and her wild lion cubs never slept hungry and this trip that i could afford to experience this bliss that my father gave me I have taken numerous trips since then trust me the western half of the country is almost stroked out of my bucket list but never has any moment surpassed this experience this was my story of hunger <laughs> <laughs>